Greetings, I'm Jabari Owens Bailey, Curatorial Education Program Manager at MOD, and this is Glass Break. Join us for an inside look under the cone as our host, Walter Lieberman, guides us through the process of glass making at the hot shop inside Museum of Glass Tacoma. Each week, we will highlight a different facet of glass making. As the crew works, Walter will describe the process, define terminology, as well as show illustrations of different techniques. Glass Break will delve deeper into the world of glass than you ever have before. Today we're going to see the Museum of Glass glass blowing team, Gabe Feenan, Ben Cobb, and Sarah Gilbert, make a fancy goblet. Goblets like this are generally made in four parts. The bowl is the part that you drink out of. The avolio is a little decorative connection that sits between the bowl and the stem. The stem is the part that holds it up, and the foot is the part that sits on the table. The colored rods of glass are called cane, and those are going to become stripes in the final piece. Ben picks up the cane on a hollow glass bubble. The bubble appears to be orange, but it's actually clear. The orange color that you're seeing is the glow from the heat. He's going to start to stretch that bubble out. When we make a fancy goblet with a fancy pattern, instead of making the fancy pattern over and over again, we make a long bubble that has the fancy pattern in it, and then we cut it up into small sections called supio. So Ben is elongating the bubble with our stripe pattern. He's cutting off some of the excess. He'll heat it up again, make it soft. He's going to squeeze the end and make one of these little sections called a supio. We'll transfer the supio to another pipe and then they'll begin to blow the bubble that's going to make the bowl of the goblet. The lines that originally went on this bubble were straight we want them in the final design to be twisted. So Ben is going to roll them against the steel table, the marver, and let it drag a little bit. As it drags, it's going to twist the lines. Now we're going to blow it up into the bubble. That's going to become the bowl of our goblet. You can see the spiral design. Sarah gets a little glass out of the furnace. She's going to bring it to Ben, and this little dab of glass is going to make the avolio, the little spindle-shaped decoration. Ben winds it on. You give it a little squeeze and a flatten with the paddle, and we have our avolio, the little spindle-shaped part. Now, they're going to transfer the bowl from the rod it was originally formed on to a second steel rod called the punty. The second steel rod will hold the bowl from the bottom while we shape the top. We heat the bowl in the glory hole, make it nice and soft, and then Ben's going to tweak it a little bit to make sure it's on center. Glass at the end of the bowl is always a little thick, so we're going to trim it off with a pair of shears. When glass is hot, you can actually cut it with the scissors. Blow it up, and then Ben's going to spread it out to make the kind of martini bowl shape. Now that the bowl is done, we're going to take it off the pipe place it in an oven called the garage. 
the garage is a warming oven. It'll keep the glass warm and stiff until we're ready to assemble the goblet. Now Gabe is getting the glass for the foot. Now Gabe is preparing the bubble that's going to become the foot of the goblet. Gabe heats up that bubble, makes it nice and soft, brings it to Ben. Ben lets it droop and attaches it to the stem. He'll cut the teardrop in half. He'll knock off the pointy part. And that'll leave us with a hollow sphere. We're going to spread that out and that will become the foot. jacks, those metal tongs, to spread the bubble out to make the nice flat, kind of slightly trumpet shaped foot. Once again we're going to transfer the foot. So now we're going to transfer the foot and the stem to Sarah's steel rod called the punty. This will hold it from the bottom while we attach the bowl of the goblet. Next thing we're going to do is add that bowl that we made at the beginning of the video. Here comes Gabe with the bowl. Stick it on. Little tap, release the pipe. Check it to make sure everything's on there straight. Gabe heats up the metal fork, which he's going to use to carry the finished goblet to our annealing oven. The annealing oven is a electric oven. It's kept at a constant temperature, and then it slowly turns the temperature down overnight and that slow cooling prevents it from breaking.